When race weekend ends, NASCAR doesn't slow down. It proves time and time again. It's a community that cares. This week, we come together to support a foundation fighting blindness. When you've been in this sport as long as guys like Richard Childress and I have, you remember Marilyn Green, who was Miss Winston, the very first Miss Winston back in the 70s. And, and uh, Marilyn has, has organized uh, the uh, Foundation Fighting Blindness uh, and does annual events and everything. And so this is, uh, this is another one of her events that we're all uh, very proud to be a part of. It's quite an honor. I've known Marilyn Green for many, many years, going back to the R.J. Reynolds days when she was uh, Miss Winston. What they've put together, the money they raise for this foundation is just uh, unbelievable. What does it mean to you to have NASCAR pulled together to help your foundation fight blindness? Well, it's incredible. You know, we've had a long friendship with NASCAR, and these people are the most charitable and generous people in the whole country. There isn't anyone that couldn't be so proud to be associated with NASCAR. Can you tell me a little bit more about retinitis pigmentosa is? Retinitis pigmentosa is one of the diseases underneath the umbrella of the Foundation Fighting Blindness. It means that you are losing your sight gradually, and in some people it's much more rapid, in others it's less rapid. And for me personally, I have retinitis pigmentosa, so it means what I have left is about the size of looking down a very small straw. So uh, retinitis pigmentosa, as I tell people, is not life-threatening, but it's life-changing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what it would be like to dine in the dark. How did y'all come up with the idea to actually dine in the dark? It's, it's giving the people that help and support these things an idea of what it really means to, to, to be blind and why it's so important we keep that from happening. A lot of us take our sight for granted, you know, and in the night putting on the uh, mask and trying to eat, I didn't do very good. I didn't spill nothing on me, but I didn't do very good. But it was a, a real eye-opener of what challenges that people really face. And the, the funds that they raised, uh, I think the research that will be done, it'll make a difference in a lot of people's lives. Maryland's done a nice job for so many years uh, bringing attention to fighting uh, blindness and uh, retinitis pigmentosa. So uh, that's, this is one of them uh, uh, that, that gets attention because of people like Marilyn Green, and, and that's why we're here to, to help her. 